Hey, today we're going to do an illustration of a ice cream parlor um, and then we're going to animate it as well afterwards um, with the ice cream and everything included. So here I am making the chair and I'm using Adobe Illustrator. Um, and so for the chair, I looked up a old time ice cream parlor chair and it the way the shape is, is it's usually kind of made of wires and then um, it's in a heart shape, it's the usual one. So I wanted something similar to that. So I'm making it um, a circle in the, in the middle and using the selection tool to fix everything up. And here's the bottom half. Um, and then there's also wire at the bottom as well for the legs also. And so I'm flipping it around so that um, it they all don't go in the same direction give it a little difference there and then I saved a few just in case I needed it for something else as well so now we have two chairs I doubled it with alt and then you just drag it with your um, symbol as well and here is the table and stretching it out mm. And I'm making a sign for the ice cream parlor also uh, just to make it look nice and do a little bit of graphic design with that and so I'm making the shapes that's going to be on the outside and then doubling them um, and flipping them with the reflect tool and I'm also going to use the shape builder as well I put a a rectangle in the middle so that it can kind of I can break apart each with the shape builder tool and then keep the middle free there's these like little pieces that kept showing up I'm like where did they even come from I had to delete those um, and so now I'm cleaning this up cleaning up the table I also put these red outlines I thought I liked that the way that it was outlined also and dragging it across with the paintbrush tool and I also colored the seats a little bit um, here's how the sign is looking at the moment and I like it I've used the paintbrush tool in the back as well um, to get the letters together and I'm making a cherry on top I sketched this out first in Procreate and then I didn't copy directly from that though I just used it as a reference changing looking for some artistic paintbrushes to use here and I took off the fill and then put it back on there so um, I'm using this blue light baby blue reminds me of cotton candy color and then some pink dots as well one of the dots kind of small I put a little bit of white also dots on here now I'm going to construct the ice cream and it's going to be in a cup like a clearish cup vanilla ice cream and, and some other flavors as well so right now I'm just getting the shapes I'm going to change the colors uh, later on there's some whipped cream and there's going to be two different uh, ice creams on the table and then that that are going to be animated as well I love this ice cream with the little swirls um, and then I did it pretty simply uh, like a simple illustration of that and some drippies and the colors are going to be different as you can see these colors look nothing like you know actual ice cream right now unless it's some crazy colors but um, here's the cup and I'm gonna choose the colors and set everything up as well on the table put some transparency since some of it's in glass so I made it kind of transparent with the opacity lowering the opacity that's a donut see that brown thing on the top that's a donut <laughs> Whether or not it looks like a donut instead of chocolate, you know, I don't know. 
down. And there's different scoops. It's like a double layer scoop with ice cream at the bottom and then some whipped cream. And here's the second ice cream as well. And then the little highlights I put in there, trying to get a good color, not too bright. And the actual um, cup kind of disappeared on this one. <laughs> it's like, where's the cup? But there it is. And I'm just fixing, making some changes, changing some colors. Um, and then there's the little highlights and shadows that I put on there to give it a little bit of shape. And making sure it's brought up to the front, the um, all the highlights instead of hiding behind it. And now I'm just going to also add some shadows, some dark shadows with the um, pencil tool. And it kept looking like it was hiding in the back, so I had to go into the outline mode to change and so that I could see behind it. Then I realized that it is the same color, that's why it's not showing up. Um, so let's change the color of it. Like, okay, that could be why. Um, and setting it up here. Name that pink highlight so that I would know where, which one is which. Um, which is a really good tip. If you want to know what colors are used where, it's good to make a swatch of it, save it, and then put what um, co what the name of the color is. So this also has some like um, chocolate syrup that I want to put on there. So I'm just get, trying to get a really good brush for this so that it can look kind of natural. Started to freeze a little bit. That's Photoshop for you. Well, not Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator for you. Um, So this is what it's looking like right now, and I really like how it came out, but we still need to animate it. So that's what we are going to do next with Adobe Animate. And we're gonna just do a simple illustration to go with the artwork. And so now we are in Adobe Animate, and I'm just going to um, say how long I want it to be. Is this gonna be about two seconds long? And I'm just going to add the frames through the um, through the timeline. Insert frame, and so everything is selected on the screen now. And we're going to do a very simple method to animate this. And so just selecting the ice cream because the ice cream is going to be the part that we're going to, to animate. And so this is the library. We're in the library on the right here. So I'm making sure that it's on paint normal for the paintbrush so that it's not painting behind things.
me and I'm going to choose a size here. This is the one that I think looks more like um, ice cream dripping. So I'm going to use that and then pick a size that isn't too big. But that is the shape that I want, like that um, sideways oval, like a thin oval size. The one on the right is already dripping a little bit, but we're going to make it drip more. So I'm adding the keyframes and then adding the drips to the side as well on the right side. You can see it on the first um, ice cream. And then I'm just going to continue that process with um, both ice creams and And just go down the timeline and keep adding the drips down. And with the eyedropper tool, I'm getting the different colors there okay and here is the final result have a great day you guys